So in this box, the Cathlon, I've delivered what hopefully is a nice new toy. Quite expensive, but we thought we'd treat ourselves to it. So it's the Yitty Wit two stroke three man drop stitch canoe, the X100. We've got the X, sorry, the 100X. We have the 100, which is really good, but it's a slightly stronger drop stitched one. Well, it comes in a pretty good bag. No indoors will now unzip it. It's the first opening, so we don't know what to expect. It was delivered today, just before we go away on holiday, so we're quickly on the look. And there she is inside. Right, hoof that out then, no indoors. I can't lift hoof that the seat out first. One seat. Two seats, we'll only need two. Is that a third seat? Is that umping the pinger? Three seats. Plenty of space in that bag, that's really useful. Another far better reviewer than, reviewer than me said that the instructions were rather nice because they're in the bag. And at the top of the bag, you just hold that hoe indoors. There's a little pouch, which is good in which you've got a oh a connector which is good a valve key and a little, little booklet take that out and I suspect all things decathlon all small instructions or all things decathlon these are the bits you get there's the main canoe itself I suspect they're the skegs really long and then the drop stitch for all which I think you do at 5 psi when you blow it up it's a hot day to be doing this I'm only filming thusly that will do and now I suspect you put the floor inside the actual canoe so we just flip the canoe over and it's folded in half and now we're going to put the drop stitch floor into the canoe so far it's looking very impressive. first job I've obviously to put the drop stitch floor into the canoe and then it's like that now I pump it up we're going to get electric on this one so before you pump this up remember that those little red valves need to be outwards if not you'll pump it up you'll undo it and it'll all gush out do that back up her indoors that's a drain plug Right, we've got the old trusty Inuit up on the go and slowly the pulse sponsors are going up. Makes it a lot easier in this old oh, heat. So we're doing the sponsors first to a, well, a modest pressure, no real pressure really. Then we're going to do the floor. Then I didn't really say what order it was in the instructions on the bag, but I think it doesn't really matter. Now we're pumping up the drop stitch floor. They're all healthy Robert's valves. Uh, and that should hopefully give it a bit of shape and give it as rigidity. The first thing you notice is it is very light to pick up. Get the other end. Very easy to portage with two. We haven't got the seat in, but it's actually a kilo heavier than the 100. But the 100 gets sort of wet and gets a, quite a bit of wet on the actual uh, canvas outside. And so that could be why, but it does certainly feel very sturdy. There it is pumped up. It's not completely to pressure because it's a hot day, so I've just kept it down about half a PSI. But it's very good, very sturdy it feels. Lift it up. Very robust. The seat, to, well, we're only using it as a two-man, so we don't need the third seat. The seats are pretty good. It's got a little pouch in the back, back of the seat. A little bit of storage under the front. Storage on the back for a bag. I'm told these are specially for clips for a particularly wet dry bag, but you could put any through there probably. Yes, yeah, so they're generally pretty impressed. And unlike the 100, this has got paddle um, uh, grips or things to put your paddle in. As you said, the little thing at the seat, at the seat and a bottle thing handles there yeah pretty impressed with it right, i suppose we better let it down we'll try the skegs first 
So there's uh, three skig positions, two at the back, quite small skigs, one drain hole at the back, and two drain holes in the middle. And that's pretty good because the other one does get a bit of water on it, so it's not so easy to get out. Right, we've now let the air out, and we want to see if we can fold it up and get it back in the bag without taking the floor and out taking the seats out because uh, that's how we do the other 100 so we're hoping the X100 will do the same but I haven't seen that on any of the um, videos so far so we might fail or not we'll see all of that not including our indoors has got to get in there well, so far with the floor and the seats in it looks pretty easy so Carry on now indoors, another roll. It's easier with you holding it. Okay. I'll put my slippered foot on it. I'll just give it a chance to, to get out. Uh, pretty good I reckon. And it actually comes with a belt to put round it. So we'll do that now. Yep, doing that way. Seems to um fit in fine that's with the two seats and the floor in and that's good enough to me I do do an oversized bag which is got to be the way with these things it's got paddle holders here the paddles do not come with it and orders a pump we had all that so we didn't need it it's all go so got a pocket there and the bag for things but yeah that's pretty good Yeti Wet X100, I think. Was it the 100X? I don't know. It's the X100, I think. Now the specs, if you're interested. Two adults, one child.